Hello and welcome to this lab. In this lab, we'll be looking at how to configure App Locker. You can go ahead and read all the descriptions for this lab. In this lab, your task is to configure App Locker in the workstation GPU on COP DC as follows. So let's go to the COP DC. Tools, Group Policy Management, Expand the Forest for CopNet, Expand Domains, Expand CopNet.local. So we have to do it on the, we have to perform the task on the workstation GPU. So let's look for that. Group Policy Objects. We have the workstation GPU right here. Right click and go to edit. So we are in the workstation GPU now. Configure app locker to enforce executable rules. For app locker, create default executable rules to ensure you maintain access to all files located in the program files folder all files located in the windows folder so policies windows setting let's expand this security setting application control policy that's where you find app locker you expand app locker executable rules right click and the first thing we have to do is to create default executable rules create default executable rules and that's that's it for this for the first task you can see the let me expand this just a moment you can see all the requirements for the first task the next is a create an app local role using the following five attributes so we have to create a new role Instructions have been given, so there's nothing we should do from here. We go to next. Allow the support group to run the call center software. So allow. So we have to choose the group. Select group. Support. Let's check. And OK. So the support group has been selected. Next, we have to make sure the application is signed by software publisher. It's selected by default. Next. Use. They have given us the file we're supposed to use for. As a file reference. As a reference file so we have to browse into a system and go to this PC it's in the C drive double click on the C drive it's in the call center folder Double click there and it's a call start exe file. Just double click on it and it will automatically be added. Okay, and allow the rule to be applied to only the publisher of the file. So we have to drag this to publisher. So it's applied only to the publisher of the file. 
do not add executions so from here you can just create or you walk through to the end of this the various steps and you go to next there's still nothing we have to do here and create and it has been created and I think we are pretty good for this lab let's check and that's it see you in the next video you can score the lab